Okay, so horses. Does anybody know the where you horses. can easily find horses this time of night in this quadrant of the of the galaxy? Well, Just hold up they a have... carrot and it'll glow. Well, where exactly right. are we? And you're right. Actually, you can go back down to Amish country. <laughs> well, well, Scott. Well, yes. Well, Scotty McFixerson. <laughs> I'm going to need you to beam down two members of the crew to go see if they can procure you up some horses. Beep boop, motherfucker. You're going to have to roll technology. Since I have more feelings. And by the way, since this is your specialty and the ship's ready for this, you get to roll a 3d6. You are the expert at this and you are prepared. Five, five, and two. Well, you have laser feeling. <laughs> Strong feelings about lasers. This may. <laughs> <laughs> this means you have special insight as to what's going on. You may ask the GM one question, and the GM must answer honestly. Okay. Are there horses on this planet? I feel like you I wasted already, that question. I thought, we were, I thought we already said there was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Um, one question. Okay. Yes. Are the there red crystals on this planet? There were before the planet rotated backwards in time, and now it's an Amish country. Amish people don't import crystals. Fuck. Mm. There were crystals here yesterday, but, you know, yesterday, oh, you this was the present. Tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. will, be, tomorrow this... will be, I don't know, ra raptors and dinosaurs. This is already sounding like a Next Generation episode. I love it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Cosmic, I need you and Jim to go down and get two horses. Beep boop. Okay. All right. Well, he beamed you both down successfully. You successfully. land exactly where you should, as you should. No body parts swapped, and no one phases in and out and gets stuck in the beam or anything. You both land. Nice. No in clones. Amish country. Unfortunately, you are immediately. Uh, you are immediately. Set upon by someone attempting to sell you hand knitted quilts. Buy them, buy them all. Electricity. <laughs> um, ooh, can't get no better him. quality than we, that. We, 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 we should, uh, you know, I'll ask him instead of quilts, would you mind selling us some horses? They point out to you that with the harvest coming up, they're going to need the horses to complete the harvest. You're going to have to find a way to convince them to give you those horses. Put the gun down, Ray. <laughs> well, I, what do you mean? I don't have my... Well, I do have a gun, but I don't have it out well, yet. We are well-armed. We just unfortunately, Ray, as you reach, unfortunately, Ray, as you reach to your side, you realize your gun has turned into a revolver. You better hey, be quick. Bet, bet. Time is, you better be quick. Time is going back fast. Oh, shit. Shoot him. Jesus Christ! I try to simply say it's of utmost importance. I need two horses for my friend, otherwise he might not live. Try, try to oh. you know edge on their feeling a bit. You're so you're trying some diplomacy, some feelings. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job, Mister Soldier. That doesn't sound. Um, I'm going to give you. I'm going to let you roll one d6 for that. Unless your friend wants to help you with the bullshit. Monster, are you going to help with the bullshit? Well, I take my gun out of my holster. Jesus! Jesus! And you better roll your... And, um... um yeah, make your feelings roll for that. I gotta say this. We have, we have the soldier trying to be diplomatic. <laughs> and we have the pilot wanting to kill everything. So oh, a damn! <laughs> That's a good feelings. Yeah. Okay! I Soldier, a roll a second dice, because the amount of um, the amount of successes you get actually matters, not just All right, so succeed. just one more d6? Yes. Oh, oh. Hey, I still run over my feelings. 
And so, oh, soldier, your number is a three, right? Uh, no, two. that's a pilot. Oh, yeah, I'm two. All right, soldier, you have two successes. Congratulations. Between your between your heartfelt pleas that you really need those horses and your pilot pointing a gun in his face. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking mugging them, dude. We're mugging them. He does, in fact, run off screaming, horse thief, <laughs> as he leaves you alone in the stable with his horses. And I'm just looking, I'm looking over at the pilot. What the hell, dude? We need those horses. Yes, but I was trying to be diplomatic. I'm the soldier. You're, I'm supposed to be the one doing this shit, not you. <laughs> we don't got time. We're going by the seconds here. All right, I fine. My, I my age retreating as we talk. Unfortunately, the angry Amish mafia rolls up as you start to secure the horses for beaming back. Oh, God, the AAM. I hate those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out they don't like people muscling in on their territory. As you well know, when you show up, you're supposed to buy their stupid quilts, not point guns in their faces and demand their horses. It's an emergency situation. Now, I need someone to tell me here, what have you heard about the angry Amish mafia? They're angry. When they, <laughs> when they, get, mad, when they get mad, they start to sing a musical number. As they arrive, you can hear 15th century classical music playing, and they're all river dancing as they walk towards you. The river <laughs> dancing is overpowering. You're not sure you're going to make it out alive. Never gonna make it. Gonna make it. Never gonna make it. <laughs> uh, yelled at our communicator, um, Scotty, beam us the hell out of there. Unfortunately, Scotty is having trouble getting a fix on you because there's so much river dancing in the area that it's creating interference. Goddamn AAM and their their static river dance dance. What you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to find a way to get away from all that interference before you can try beaming up. We could um we dance with them. <laughs> Jim, Jim, we could try to saddle the horses and get the hell away from them because horses can run faster than Amish people, right? Oh yeah, let's do that. <laughs> That's a better idea. <laughs> you know, I was wondering if I was wondering if someone was going to realize the obvious, but like, was your idea you. to shoot them, Jim? I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to be chaotic. But uh, you know, uh, no lie, no lie. The, the dance idea had me interested. <laughs> All right, you're both prepared to flee. You have horses. I want you to make. A prepared technology check because do you know how to get a horse to cooperate? All right, we're gonna need a saddle, spurs. Roll a 2d6. You are definitely not the experts at riding horses, but you are do in fact have horses on hand. And so I'm prepared. Okay. Six. Four and a two. Hey, I rolled a feeling. Maybe the feelings will... Congratulations, you get to ask a question. Oh, nice. Mm. How do you ride a horse? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> also, you got one six... You got, you got ladies and feelings, which technically counts as a success. Now ask a question. What would the way best way. way to be to distract and run away from the Amish? You realize, having watched every alien culture's version of West Side Story, the only way you're going to defeat this group is if, while you steal the horses, your friend outriver dances them to keep them from following you. Because <laughs> if there's one thing a river dancing horde can't do, is they can't pass up the chance to try to outdance someone else. Thank you.